Next on the chop and block, we have the new Giz Audio Collab. Overall build quality, it's okay. I do have a couple complaints though. Like the shell, it's fine. You got a surprise face emoji. Um, yeah, it, it's okay. But my main complaint, number one, um, there's no like right and left indicator. So you just kind of have to figure it out, um, which I mean, easy enough to do, I guess, just like figure out what way the writing is and whatever. But then you go to find the hook right and left. And it's like so finely printed on there and it's not even printed. It's like it's really hard to see. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but like it's on there somewhere. It says left or L and the other one says R, but it's like really hard to see. So that wasn't a great experience, but yeah, the build's okay of the shell itself. It's like, it's quite deep in there, actually. Like, you have to use one of these types of cable terminations, which is whatever. Um, also, this does feel a little bit weak right here. I'm I'm concerned about that. The moon drop variations seem to have a similar thing, and yeah. Uh, anyways, ear hooks comfortable enough, and you do have a slider. The cable is okay. Um, it's not the best cable I've ever used. Not the worst cable I've ever used. It does do this. It's not really well behaved. But, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I do like the case. It's kind of neat. Feels, eh, feels a bit plasticky, but I do like the design. Yeah. Yeah. Build quality. It's okay. It's alright. It's nothing like whoa but it's not bad um how do these things sound so they sound exactly how they look on a graph <laughs> like no word of a lie um some some iams they're like oh they don't really sound like how they graph or other iams you're like you know like oh yeah kind of but no this sounds exactly how it graphs um it's kind of like well, it's kind of like Harmon with a little little bit more bass than the Harmon target, which I like. I like more bass. But yeah, um, I don't really know what else to tell you because like that's that's the tuning. It's like Harmon with a bit more bass. Um, kind of like it's kind of like the Truth Year Zero with the impedance adapter. It's kind of like the Moondrop variations. It's that style of tuning, but it's quite a bit cheaper than the Moondrop variation. And, um, it's just as good, I think, honestly. Like, Moondrop Variations, the bass had a bit more oomph to it. I don't know how else to explain it. It's not like there's a whole lot more quantity, but it, it just felt a little more impactful. Um, but everything else, like, this is just as good, I think. It's been a while since I listened to the variations, but it's giving me a similar vibe. Um, very similar vibe. Better. This sounds a lot better than the Truth Year Zero with the impedance adapter. So it's kind of like, it's like right there. Yeah, you got the Truth Year Zero with the impedance adapter. You got the Moondrop variations up here. This sits comfortably in the middle of those two. Um, yeah. A lot of people are going to like this type of tuning. There's, there is definitely, there is definitely a market for this. Um... Yeah, uh, the technicalities are just perfectly fine. Um, it's Everything's pretty clear. Like, I didn't have any issues there. It sounds really nice, to be completely honest. Um, I personally, I like a little bit of a thicker, lower, mid, upper bass area, uh, mainly because it, it gives the music a bit more oomph for me. Um, makes it a little more... I don't know, primal, I feel it more, it's, it's more enjoyable for me, uh, it's a little, it adds a pinch of warmth, um, I prefer the upper mids a little bit less than Harmon myself, but, you know, that's just personal preference, I think a lot of people are going to like this, I think a ton of people are going to like this, um, it's just not really something I would listen to on a daily basis, I, I prefer the Meteor, but that's like a very, that's a way more expensive I am. Um, for the price, it's fine. For the price, it's a, I think it's a good buy. It's a good buy. It's just not something I 
personally would listen to every single day. I think it's fine. It's, it's perfectly fine. I think you should buy it if you're into this type of tuning. Um, it's good. It's 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 totally good if you're into it. If you're into it. So, yeah. Um, it's good. I I would I would recommend it to anyone looking for this style of tuning. That's I think my conclusion. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. But if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time.